You are watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, no more traditional dentures. With dental implants, you can get as little as two dental implants, according to my first guest, that can snap in, snap out a full arch of teeth. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Vandermolen. Dr. Vandermolen, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Now, before we get into today's topic, for people that don't know you, uh, I mean, you have a very large, very busy practice, and I guess you do just about everything, and you focus on three things. But, uh, you know, tell me, like, what's a day like at your, for you? Well, Randy, we don't lim limit our practice to any particular patient. Okay. Uh, we see all ages, uh, all, all uh, groups of people. Our goal is to help as many people in our community to have healthy mouths. Um, okay. my, we can do anything from uh, tooth whitening. Uh, we have great hygienists to uh, clean your teeth, just regular preventive type things. Uh, we do full mouth restorations. Uh, we just do everything in between. Okay. Um, my particular interests are, are uh, what I would call procedures that are uh, life changing for a lot of people. Yeah, you told me that in the green room. Right. Elaborate. So, so an example of that might be something called fast braces. Uh, fast braces is an amazing technology that allows us to straighten someone's teeth, and, and it's all ages, by the way, anywhere from three months to about a year. And we can okay. do that as, with less cost than conventional um, orthodontics. Um, another thing that we do is cosmetic dentistry. And obviously, um, that can be life-changing for a lot of people. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It could be somewhere where we do tooth whitening, or we could be just changing the shape of the teeth can make a big difference. Mm -hmm. um, or we can go to a full-blown uh, case where people have really worn teeth, broken chip, they're yellowed. Um, we can bring their sm smile back to what they had in their youth. Uh, also, sedation dentistry. Um, not many dentists do sedation dentistry. Sedation takes a lot of extra training, um, but I think it's a very worthwhile thing to offer our patients because now people who are afraid or they gag or they have just a lot of dentistry to do and they need to get it done, um, they can just sleep through the procedure and, and get it done. And when you have a lot of dentistry that needs to be done, obviously that can be a life-changing thing for you. Um, something else we offer is uh, custom and cosmetic uh, natural looking dentures. Um, if you have to wear an upper denture. I feel denture, like I could spot dentures walking down the street. I right, told you that. Right. And, and that type of situation is, is bad. And that's a big fear that people have. You know, am I going to have that denture look? And uh, nobody wants that. So, and I'm here to tell you that just because you have dentures doesn't mean you have to look like you have dentures. They should have a, a beautiful smile. Um, I mean, look at this smile right here. Okay. Um, that's somebody who has. Um, that's a denture? That's an upper denture and a lower denture. Now they're attached to implants, and we're going to talk so about that snap, later. Snapped on. Yes. Interesting. Now that's, that's attached to implants, but um, we'll talk about that more later. And of course, uh, we're here to talk about dental implants, and uh, there's all sorts of ways to use dental so very implants. Very popular procedure. Absolutely. It should so the be more. The denture wears. Yeah, it should be more. It should be more. A lot of people are wandering around with dentures, and they don't know um, the difference between someone who is wearing a denture and someone who's wearing dental implants under a denture is like the difference between being there out, out there in your horse and buggy or driving a car. <laughs> you know, what do you want to do? You call it like mushy mouth or something, because you said you love two implants to snap in, snap out a denture. Right. So. If someone's wearing a typical lower denture, well, first of all, 50% of the people can't even wear them. They, it's stuck in a sock drawer right? somewhere. Yeah, it, because your lower jaw moves, right? And if, if you th thought about you had something just floating in your mouth with your tongue in there and the floor of your mouth and your cheeks, everything just wants to push that thing out of there. And if you could actually attach it in there, that's a big difference. That means that you can go ahead and speak properly. You can eat properly. Um, you can kiss properly. Um, it's fixed in place. So when we say at the top of the show, no more traditional dentures, we're talking about no more dentures that are just laying there on glue or right. on the adhesive, I should say. Right. And everybody hates the adhesive. Anybody who's worn a lower denture knows that, you know, every time they eat, they're having to put that adhesive in there, uh, take it in and out, then they eat, then they got to mess with it again. And at the end of the day, they're in there peeling it out. Um, it's... It's no good. Why not have something that attaches in there and is fixed and, and forget about the adhesives? So we're going to move on to dental implants. Okay. We said no more dentures, no more traditional dentures. And let's start with why is it what used to take, I guess, a long time for the dental implant process now can happen much faster? Right. So what's advanced? Because you've been right. doing it since what, 1980s? I've, I've been in, doing implants since the 80s. When, when I, in the 80s, it was kind of gruesome to watch. We had to open everything up, uh, move the gums around. That's, that's the most painful thing ab about implants in the past. We don't do that anymore. We have, uh, in my office, we have a 3D scanner. We're able to image everything. We can see where the bone is, how dense it is. So in the old days, it was a lot of cutting of the gums? Yeah, we literally had to cut the gum. It just 
open them up to see, okay, what's there? Sometimes there wasn't enough there and we just put it back. Um, now with 3D scanning, we know exactly where it is, where to put the implant. There's a lot of cases, Randy, where I don't do any stitches. My, my staff has them ready, but for the most part, they're like, oh, you know, he put the implant in, we're done. And patients are going to work. I had a patient just recently. She had all these bad teeth. She wanted to have um, everything done. She wanted to have it as much like her own teeth. We put six implants in her. We took out teeth, um, put some immediate teeth in so she, she could function. And she said, you know what, I'm going to work tomorrow. Now, we weren't quite so sure about that okay. because we took teeth out too. And sure enough, we saw her the next day. She came in her lunch hour. And I said, you went to work, didn't you? And she said, absolutely. I says, I'm not going to miss work. And she says, I feel great. She says, I didn't take the pain medicine. I said, I'll admit I did take a Tylenol because I wasn't sure before I went into work. Um, so, and, and that's a typical story, not for someone that has all that done necessarily, but someone who has one or two implants put in, it's not a problem. So pain, because it does seem painful. So I guess Absolutely. the bone doesn't really, you don't feel... Right. If I came in and said, I'm going to put a hole in there and I'm going to put something in your body somewhere, you might think that might be painful. But uh, really what hurts is, is, is cutting and opening tissue. That's, and, and lots of surgeries, whether you have them anywhere in your body, it used to be that way. Everything be opened up. Now with precision and, and the, the amazing technology we have available, you can see things ahead of time. So you can go right to where it is, less healing time and less pain. Okay, you, you do public seminars. Yes. Once a month? Once a month. For denture wearers, people wearing false teeth, right. about dental implants, and I guess their options. Right. What do you guys talk about? Well, the title of the seminar is Change Your Smile, Change Your Life. Okay. So the focus is on dental implants. The, the key thing that we're doing is trying to help people realize what all their options are. Because um, everybody that comes to the seminar is missing teeth, they have broken teeth, um, they, they may have dentures at this point. But what they want to know is, what's my options? There's all this stuff. We're in this information age, right? You know, the internet, TV. And it's amazing to me, people just don't know what's going on. They don't know what they don't know. And that's frustrating to me. And these seminars have been so rewarding. But most of their questions are is, what can I do? Am I too old? That's a big How one. How old can you be? Uh, like uh, somebody with false teeth watching this. How right. old can you be and still be a candidate? If you have a jaw with some bone, <laughs> is it doesn't right? matter. And, you know, everybody's living longer. I'm a baby boomer. I'm the tail end of the baby boomers. All baby boomers want to, want to live forever. If you're missing your teeth, you need, to have, you need to have something strong to chew. If you want to live into your 90s to 100, you need to have strong teeth. You need a good diet. And that's what people don't understand. You say denture wearers aren't really chewing. No, they're just, they're just, their they're just, they're just mashing and just, you know, doing that to their food. Um, they're not really chewing. Uh, if you, you can watch people, if you've been in a restaurant, you can pick them out, or at least I can. I'm a I can't. <laughs> I don't ever but notice. If you see somebody that seems to be like chewing like a cow, they're just really working. They're so taking small. So you see bite. this, by the way, all the time. So you could spot a denture wear. Yeah, all and the time. And do you think I've, I could help them? All the time. And you know, there's tens of thousands of people out there like that. Are there really like in Springfield? In right? Springfield. What, what county are you in? I'm in Sangamon County. Okay. How many denture wearers in that county you think have an upper or lower denture? Tens of thousands. Really? Everybody thinks they're alone. And it's sort of this silent uh, group of people that don't, either they're having problems and they're hiding it, either with their hand or their, with facial hair, or they're not going out as much. They're not laughing. They're not being social. Um, there's all these things, and we just don't realize it. So why, if it's so good, if dental implants, like you say, with just two implants, you give them a full arch of teeth, that snap in, snap out. Why aren't they all doing it if there's tens of thousands? They, they don't know, Randy. And that's, I had a, a guy come in, uh, Jim, came into my office. He was frustrated because he didn't like how his lower denture looked. He was actually going forward like this. And I take the denture out. It's all worn. And he's li literally positioned out like a bulldog. You could tell he was miserable. It, but his thing was, oh, I just think these teeth are worn out. And I was like, Jim, what are you eating? And then he started telling me a lot of really bad stuff. And, but he wasn't even thinking anything of that. And I said, well, how about carrots? you eat carrots? Or how about you, do you eat steak? Oh, no, I gave up steak long. He says, that, that red meat's bad for you. I said, well, really? I said, don't you like the smell of that? And he goes, yeah, I love the smell of that. But he says, I just, I don't eat it. And I said, well, what if you could? What if you could really chew that really well? Would you be interested in that? And he goes, well, I don't think I can. I'm, I'm too far gone. And I said, Jim, we can put two implants in here. We can fix your denture. We can fix your face so that you're not all scrunched up anymore and look, have that nice smile, and you can eat anything you want. How would you be, would you be interested in doing that? And he said, absolutely. But yeah. he didn't believe me. He didn't believe me. And at first he was like, and then like I told him. What part didn't he believe? Well, 
you know, he... That it was that easy? or it, He just didn't believe that it was that easy. And, you know, then he was kind of balking about how much it would cost. And I said, well, let's, let's just try that. And, you know, it was interesting. We were talking about before the show. If every patient that had a lower denture, if we could put two implants in there for a day and snap it in and say, okay, you wear that for a day, come back tomorrow. If you don't like it, if I literally could take those out, there's no way in the world that they would give <laughs> them back. Is it that big of a difference? It's huge. Like, what do they say? I mean, do they all say the same thing? Like, I should have done this they, they years all, ago? They literally grab me by the lapels of my, my jacket and say, why didn't you make me know about this earlier? And because you make dentures, like cosmetic dentures at your yes, office. Yes. So when you take that person, you give them this snap in, snap out smile. Right. They do. They go, how come nobody told me about this? Exactly. Or why weren't you guys right. strong enough about right. this? Right. And, Interesting. And, and, something that, and something that sort of sneaks up on everybody, it even sneaks up on us dentists, is that they've done studies about how much pressure and how much chewing force you can use with just an upper denture and a lower denture. It's only 10 to 12% of someone like you that has your own natural teeth. And just imagine yeah. what that would be like. What could you really chew? Not a whole lot. So like with these, they can eat like pasta al dente they or can, salads or whatever. They can eat anything they want. It's like having your own teeth. Okay. Years ago, there was a, a, a water skier that got implanted. And this is in the 80s. So he went through all the opening the tissue and all that. And this water skier had upper and lower dental implants, had the toe bar between his teeth, skiing uh, professional ski shows in Florida. His dentist was freaking out about it. But that taught us a lot of things about dental implants. It's like, wow, these aren't only strong. They're actually stronger than your natural teeth. You wouldn't do that to your natural teeth without damaging. With dental implants, it's like a rock. Interesting. Okay, good, good. Now, you said you show a picture at your seminars to yes. patients. Yes, yes. What yeah. is this? Well, here's Okay, so these are your once-a-month public seminars. Right. So what I want, to realize, want patients to realize is that a lot what of, is that? Is that the lower? That's yeah, the and, I, and I apologize. And I apologize for what this is. <laughs> graphic. But, yeah, yeah. So what you're seeing is the floor of the mouth, and but I want what I'm what I'm showing this for is I want everybody to realize that that's a, a full group of teeth. That's the mm -hmm. lower teeth. You would agree, right? So that person did not have to have 12 implants to put that in, and I think that's what a lot of people think is they think, wow, you know, implants cost a little money. I have to have one for every tooth. And the truth is, is this person has a full set of lower teeth locked into place, glued into place, if you will, um, there's only six implants in there. And that's a lifetime restoration for that patient. Uh, this bottom picture is a little confusing, but it's, it's showing the underside of a denture, and it's showing how there's snaps in there. And we were talking about the snap in denture. This is an actual model. If you okay. take a hold of that. So this is the lower? Lower teeth okay. and would be, would be a lower denture. Now that's two snaps, and you notice that snapped out yeah. and then uh, snap back in. So, so that's huge for all these people now, that are now suffering with lower dentures. Now, in their 80s or whatever, is it sometimes tough to take out? Yeah, actually, it can be, but we modify it to whatever works best for them. So, so it's good for anybody. It doesn't matter whether you have good finger strength or not. We can make something work for you. Okay. Also, so, denture wears. You say they're losing bone. That no matter how healthy you are, if you're wearing dentures, I mean, elaborate on that. Right. Let me understand. So, in doing these seminars, it's been interesting. They fill out forms after we do it to tell us what they learned. And the number one thing that people don't realize is that when you lose a tooth, you lose bone. And that's, What does that mean? Well, that's, well, that's frightening to a lot of people because if you're losing bone in your jaw, your face is going to shrink. So we use this graphic um, to show people that uh, when part of the reason you have face height, you think about a little newborn baby. Their, their face is real tiny. They don't have teeth. As they grow, they get teeth, they get a bigger okay. face, right? All right? And then, but then the tendency, and this is our societal, it's, it's not right. You say, well, look at that little old lady. She, she looks like a baby again. She looks like a baby because she's missing all her teeth. And that's not necessary. Um, if, if, you are lose, if you have lost your teeth, we can put dental implants in there, restore that, keep your bone height. Because, you know, your body gets faked out. When your teeth are in there, it saves your bone. When you take the teeth out and put dental implants in there, your, your brain thinks, hey, there's teeth there. They happen to be made out of titanium, but that doesn't matter. So that saves your face. And if you want to look older, faster, the fastest way to do that is just to be missing teeth and not put in, in, dental implants. Are in they there. ever left without teeth? So denture wearers watching this, they go right. in, you tell them, okay, you're a candidate. Right. During the process, they're not without teeth. 
Right. So nobody wants to be without teeth. So we always have some sort of a, at least a temporary solution where if you come into my office, we do a procedure, and you have some sort of teeth, you're going to walk out with teeth. Uh, you know, we, we're attuned to the embarrassment factor with that. So it and might not be a final restoration, but it'll certainly be uh, one that will be work well for you for What's time. The, now, insurance and Medicare, I guess here right. in the U.S., Medicare doesn't take, take care of this. Insurance coverage does not take care of the whole process. Right. Well, everybody's, uh, got, everybody's got different types of insurance. Um, what we offer at our, at our office is we offer 0% financing. We have lots of ways to pay. So, you know, everybody's worried about paying. They're worried about how they're going to pay for it. Uh, we've got those covered. And people say, you know, one of your patients actually said, uh, and we're going to go to a quick break, but it was the best money he ever spent. I think that's something like that. Not, not, not just one. Every patient says that to me. And that's what's so cool about dental implants is you, you think, oh, you know, this patient spent a lot of money. You know, are they going to appreciate it? They always come back. The next day when we put things in, every time they come in, wow, that's great, Doc. Why didn't you make me do this sooner? Do they really say that? Like, why didn't you make me do this? Why All didn't the you time. tell me about their complaints? All the time. And, and, you well, know, maybe you need and, to get stronger t- then yeah, well, with these denture wears. It could be because some of these patients, I'll admit to you, Randy, some of these denture patients have been in my practice for a while. And, and, and I'll admit that sometimes we didn't maybe push so hard. But I'm not a pushy person. I just I want them to know. And what I've really discovered in doing these seminars is that it's, it's almost embarrassing to me as a dentist that dentistry as a whole, we have not done a good job at letting people know, hey, we've got some great, amazing options. The technology, the things that we can do now are, are just mind-blowing. And they're mind-blowing to me. And what I have to remember is that your average Joe on the street has no clue about these things. So I've taken it upon myself, maybe have a little chip on my shoulder, I'm a little <laughs> hacked off about it. I want people to know what we have to offer. Okay, good. And you teach other dentists this philosophy. Absolutely. Of, uh, of options. Yeah, right. Because, well, you said, you know, dentists, dentists uh, you know, here, oh, I hate the dentist all the time. And sometimes we take, take that a little too personally. And so our approach sometimes is, well, maybe, you know, maybe I won't tell them everything. Maybe they'll like me a little bit better. But, you know, but we really need to let people know what's going on, not to push anything on to them, but we have to realize how little people know. And our job is, you know, doctor, actually, I think in Latin or Greek or something, part of that means teacher. We're supposed to be teaching people about what that is. That's our obligation. And then when that patient decides to do something, well, great. But maybe if I have to be pushy, I need to push a little bit more about dental implants because there's going to be a time when everything's going to be attached to dental implants. If so you're the missing future something, of dentistry, traditional dentures are out, they'll be attached to something. They're going to have to be. Now, what about people that know that they have sore gums? Already their denture hurts. Right. Won't the implants also hurt once you get that done? Right. Well, what the, the implant does is it sort of lifts, the, off that t- it lifts, lifts your appliance off the tissue. And, and even if it doesn't, a lot of times people have sores in there. There's infection in there. And that's another thing. People don't realize when they have gum disease and, and bad teeth, it's not just that they're rotten. It means that it's infected. Um, a lot of my patients tell me how great they feel just getting their teeth out because what we've done is we've literally extracted the infection out of their body. And, you know, if you had an infected sore on your leg, you'd be a little concerned. And, and you, you would agree that if yeah. you clean that up, you'd be so, feeling a little bit so better. So people that their mouth, they have bad gums, they right. can still qualify for dental implants. Right, because this, the source of the bad gums is the infection, which is usually lashed around those infected teeth. So get that out of there. So Let all ages. Feel. I mean, you could be 80, 90. Absolutely. What's your oldest patient the oldest, for one of these snap-in, snap-out The oldest dentures? patient uh, recently I've had uh, is in her later 80s. Really? And, uh, and so we put, what does she say? Well, we put three implants in her, and, and now she can chew stuff that she hasn't eaten before. That, you know, she, she, you know she's, she's somebody who's in front of the public, so she was very concerned about how is this going to look. So we made her those cosmetically. So, so a full arch of teeth, three implants. Right. And it just snaps in, snaps out. On the bottom. And there's and no more adhesive, right? No. And she does well with an upper denture. Her concern was she wanted to look good because she does tours for people. And, and now she's not worrying about, hey, that lower denture spilling out. Because, you know, you have to realize it's not just about, as dentists, we're always thinking about functions and, and so on, about chewing and how does it look. But you forget about all these other things. Just talking, me talking to you. I have my own teeth. I'm, I'm not sitting here worrying, oh, my teeth going to come out. Yeah. yeah. But denture wears, that's what they're thinking about. They're thinking about... You said they go to a restaurant, and they're looking at it, wondering what they could eat. Right. 
Right. You know, it's talk, very interesting. Right. You know, there's people look at menus different ways, right? Sometimes people look at the left side of the menu because that's the least expensive thing, and they don't want to even look at the right side of the menu. Well, these people are, they're just combing through, trying to find, okay, what can I eat without embarrassing myself in front of these people that I'm sitting and eating dinner with? Okay, with denturewares, is it a tipping point where they finally had enough of their denture? I mean, because I, mean, I know my mother. She said one day she woke up and her, and she's married, and her, denture was in the covers right and she said i gotta do something about this right and she made and is there she, a lot was that common by the way well where they fall out or something happens yeah uh yeah well i, I can tell you lots of stories about things falling out I, i've got i've got a patient who he came into me first because he has broken lower denture and i said what happened he goes well he goes it's kind of embarrassing i i was leaning out of my truck there's this gal at work He's, uh, she's a dispatcher. He drives a truck. He says, I'm leaning out, and I was talking to her, and my lower teeth <laughs> fell out and cracked in half at her feet. <laughs> and he's well, like, bad. oh, my God. So he had a broken denture. Uh, it pretty much broke his, his chances of So he of called you to fix the denture, obviously. Yeah. Did but, you get him some and, dental implants? Well, then we talked to him. He said, hey, Doc, can you just glue this to back together? I go, well, do you want that to happen again? He said, absolutely not. And I said, well, let's snap him in. And so we did, did that for him, and, and, and uh, I don't know if he ever got back together with that same woman, <laughs> some woman, but he's a much more confident guy. And he's a really nice guy, but now he's confident, and, and that's, that's the difference. You say these people that beyond just having a fix set of teeth, they could eat and chew and things like that, but, but the, the smile changes their life. And, right. and you're a dentist, and right. I always think, of course you're going to say that. Absolutely. How important is a yeah. smile? Yeah, so you know, what I always say is your smile defines you. And, and, and you'll admit, anybody will admit, when we look at people, we, we judge people. We're not supposed to, but we, we okay. make snap judgments, right? So if you look at a person and their teeth are pretty good, you're going to think, that guy's probably pretty good in life. He's probably doing all right. You see somebody who's missing teeth, they're broken, things are moving around, you're going to think, oh, that's, well, a that broke, that's broken. That's probably a broken person. So, or like they don't have money or something. Right. Or education. Or right, whatever. right. Or if you're interviewing for a job, who do you want? The person who looks good well, or the person happy. that looks broken? I mean, if they're smiling and happy. That's another one. That would do it. They if might be just keeping their lips. not smiling because they're hiding something, obviously, you can think that they're moody or depressed or whatever. Absolutely. So there's all these things going on, all these psychological things going on. And it's really about right here, what's in their eyes and what's, what's on their smile. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back... Uh, I, want to, I want to know about the process, also about the next level up, a okay. thick set of teeth, right. teeth that do not come in and out for the people that have dentures. Absolutely. You're watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. Uh, well, then I came in having new dentures made, and they talked about having these implants, and you explained what those were, and I said, this is fantastic. I said, well, I'm, I don't do pain very well. So I had the implants put in, and it's fantastic. Uh, we should have had these 50 years ago. Uh, they're a lot sturdier, uh, your bite's a lot better, the plate doesn't float around, uh, it's just perfect. Uh, uh, I can talk fine, but the biggest thing is I don't have to use the adhesive anymore, and I have a very strong, sturdy bite. Uh, it feels fantastic. Uh, this is one of the best decisions I ever made. Uh, you're fantastic, this place is awesome, uh, you can get me right in. If I have a problem, you get me right in. Uh, you, uh, you adjusted my teeth, you took a lot longer. I think that my original dentist, I mean, you work with me, seem like, for hours at a time to make sure I had the right fit, the uppers and lowers, and, again, you checked everything. If the bite was right, uh, they're just perfect. All right. You're watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, no more traditional dentures. Uh, with as little as two dental implants, according to my first guest, you can get something that snaps in, snaps out, no adhesive. Dr. Vandermullen. Okay, Dr. Vandermullen. Okay, so the next level up, and we're just about out of time, people could come in that have false teeth and could get a fixed set of teeth. Right. Tell me about that. So uh, a fixed set of teeth, um, this would be an example of one, is, is where um, you have something that looks like a denture. It's, it's an abbreviated type denture, but it's actually screwed down uh, into place. For that, we need more than two implants. Uh, typically, you're going to need uh, four, five, or six implants to hold that into place. Now, now, when you have a fixed set of teeth, you have something now that you're not thinking about. So, so think about it like uh, as an example. If, if, do you ever think about when you walk somewhere, do you think about, I put one foot no, in front no, of the other? No, <laughs> right? I also right. don't think about my teeth. Very <laughs> right. right, right. So you have your own teeth. You just put something in your mouth, you chew. You just talk. You don't, you don't think about, 
okay, do I have to make an adjustment? So if you have something that's fixed, it's locked into place, that's gone. The only thing you have to think about is that you do need to clean around them, and you need to come in and see us every like six every months. Like every six months? Just like a normal people with regular teeth. And they could eat what? They can eat anything. Is so, that right? So you pick it. I always t ask my patients, you know, do you want to eat what you want, or do you want to eat what you can? Can they chew gum with a fixed set of teeth? Absolutely. Is that right? It's like your own teeth. It's actually strong. When we were talking earlier, I was talking about that water skier that holding the toe bar in his teeth. Um, dental implants are actually stronger than your own teeth. Okay, good. I want to thank you for coming to the show. We're out thank of time. you, Randy. Appreciate excellent, it. Excellent, excellent stuff. So call your office, uh, make an appointment. Yeah, we if offer IV uh, sedation. You could go in and just. If you want to sleep through the whole procedure, we can do that. Um, and uh, if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to just find out, look, people come to my seminars. There's, there's no pressure. Come to my seminar. Come into my office. Everything, we're offering a complimentary consultation. Mm -hmm. We'll do the 3D scan. We'll do everything. And we'll let you know, hey, you're a candidate uh, for, for implants. Or maybe there's something a little less. Maybe you think your teeth are worse than they are. Maybe, maybe you don't need dental implants or, or to the extent that you think you might. Come find out what it is. My mission is that you know your options. We're not doing a good job in dentistry to let people know their options. Just come let me good. help you do that. All right. Thanks again. Thank you. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you'd like to see this interview again, you could go to our website at wellnesshour.com, put in Dr. Vandermolen. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.